I would like to fight Adonis Chickenson. Hey, that's me. This is the big, the biggest top man. This is me. I'm the champ. I'm the real champ. Oh yeah. Oh. I did actually touch on this in my Kovalev Pascal 2 post fight video, but I was very tired when I made that video. So I wound up making quite a few mistakes as a result because I weren't hundred percent with it. So I just want to clarify exactly what the situation is to the best of my knowledge. In the latest round of failed negotiations between team Stevenson and team Kovalev, according to Stevenson's promoter, Avon Michelle, he approached Showtime, which is the network that team Stevenson deal with when they do pay-per-view events. He approached them and he proposed that they do a cross network deal with HBO for a Stevenson Kovalev fight. And he says that Showtime said, yes, we're perfectly willing to do a cross network deal with HBO for this particular fight. In fact, we've still got a template in place from last year when we did Mayweather Pacquiao with HBO. So we'll use that same template as the basis for a deal for Kovalev Stevenson. So Yvonne Michel then took that proposal and presented it, to, presented it to HBO and Team Kovalev. But unfortunately, they turned it down flat. Now, one issue or one area where Team Kovalev and Team Stevenson are in agreement is with the basic split for this fight. They've always both agreed that they can do a 50-50 split. And that's something that Team Kovalev have to agree to because Stevenson does better figures, uh, generally speaking, on you know American television than Sergei Kovalev does. Kovalev only tends to get decent viewing figures when he fights someone that has a fan base like a Jean Pascal or a Bernard Hopkins, whereas Stevenson does good figures anyway, or decent figures anyway, because of the fact that he's got a big fan base in Canada and obviously they've still got HBO and Showtime and whatnot up there in Canada. So, you know, Team Kovalev understand that even though they've got more belts, because Stevenson's got more of a fan base in North America and Canada, they have to, you know, give him 50-50. So that's not the issue. It's never been the issue. The issue for Team Kovalev has always been a network situation. Initially, Team Kovalev said, look, we can't fight on Showtime under any circumstances because we'd be in violation of contract because we've got an exclusive contract with HBO. So Team Stevenson then said, okay, allow the networks to bid for the fight then. And whichever network bids the highest amount wins. If it's HBO, we're happy to come and fight Kovalev on HBO. But if... Showtime win, you have to come over and fight on Showtime and you shouldn't be in violation of the contract because the networks are the ones who bid for the fight. Well, again, Team Kovalev said, no, no, we're not doing that. It has to be on HBO or nothing. So again, as I've just mentioned, in this latest round of failed negotiations, Team Stevenson said, okay, let's do a cross-network fight. That's what Mayweather and Pacquiao did. That's how they got their deal done. If you go all the way back Years and years ago, that's how Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis got done. A cross-network fight. That way no one's in breach of their contracts or whatever. What's the problem? Well, HBO flatly turned it down. According to Yvonne Michelle, it wasn't Team Kovalev as such. It was HBO who turned down this latest proposal for a cross-network fight. I don't understand what HBO's problem with it would be. You know, obviously I don't know exactly what their contract is with Team Kovalev, but I just don't get it. I really don't understand it. Um, they did it last year. You know, some people have said this fight is not big enough to be a cross-network fight. Well, so how come Showtime are willing to make it a cross-network fight then, if it's not big enough? You know, I don't know. Uh, as I say, Team Stevenson's issue with fighting exclusively on HBO or not involving another network in the negotiation process is the fact that if they just agreed to do a deal on HBO, they're going to be getting less money than they would be getting if they involved at least one more network in the negotiation process. As I've just said, if, if, they, if HBO and Showtime both bid for the fight, it would push the money that these networks are paying the fighters up. Whereas if you've only got one network involved, they don't have to offer the, fight, the fighters the highest amount of money. So, so in that situation, in networks bidding, 
even if HBO won and the fight ended up being exclusively on HBO, Team Stevenson will be happy because HBO are the ones who offered the most money. You know? Um, but the way that Team Kovalev won it, they, they just don't see that as a sensible way to do business from their point of view. Okay? And again, they've proposed this cross-network deal, which to me seems like a good compromise. But somehow HBO have said no. So uh, the people who, at least on the surface from the outside looking in, the people who don't seem to be willing to make any compromises at all are HBO and Team Kovalev when it comes to the deal. And it is unfortunate. Do I think that Sergei Kovalev is frightened of Adonis Stevenson? Absolutely not. Do I think that Adonis Stevenson is frightened of Sergei Kovalev? Absolutely not. Do I think that Adonis Stevenson and his team realize that Kovalev is a fight that they could very well lose? Definitely. Which is why they're insisting on getting more than one network involved in the negotiation process or more than one network involved in screening the fight. Because that would mean that they're going to get the maximum possible revenue from it. Can you blame them for that? I'm not saying you shouldn't blame them. I'm just asking you a question. And what do you think about the Kovalev side of the situation? Why are they being so stubborn? Why won't they budge even a little bit? Why won't HBO budge? Forget about Kovalev, right, for a second. And Kathy Duva, why won't HBO budge and allow this to be a cross-network fight? They did it with Mayweather Pacquiao, which was surely a more difficult fight to make than this. You were dealing with two massive egos in Floyd Mayweather and Bob Arum, <laughs> right? So if those guys can do a deal, I know it took many, many years, but still, as Showtime have said, there's a template in place there to do a cross-network deal with, with HBO. So if they managed to do it last year with Mayweather Pacquiao, HBO, please, please tell us, explain to us, why is it that Showtime are willing to do a cross-network Stevenson Kovalev fight, but you're not? Why are you denying us this fight like that? So that's just my take on it, people, based on the information that's out there at the moment. I hope we hear something from uh, HBO and Team Kovalev. When it's come to this whole negotiation situation over the past year or so between these two camps, Team Stevenson have always been the ones who put out more detailed information. Uh, namely, it's been Yvonne Michelle who's been putting out the most detailed information about what's going on behind the scenes. Now, that is one side of the story, and I'm not saying that his account is the definitive account, it's just one side of the story. But nevertheless, his side of the story always seems to be far more detailed than Kathy Duva's side of the story, from what I've seen. Okay, what significance... There is in that, I don't know, but I'm just presenting the information as I've come across it over the past you know, year or so. So yeah, it's very frustrating. It seems we're not going to get Stevenson Kovalev. It's all down to business and all this type of stuff. I don't know. I, I know a lot of people are saying, look, Stevenson should just bite the bullet, take less money and go fight exclusively on HBO and give... Team Kovalev exactly what they want to make the fight, you know. Um, all right, you, you you can say that, but if you were in Stevenson's shoes, would you do that? Would you go into that fight knowing that it could be the last fight of your career potentially because you could end up getting knocked out badly and lose your title and lose your earning power? Would you just go into that fight knowing that you could have made a lot more money if you'd involved another network? and had a cross-network situation? Wouldn't you want to cash out for the most money possible? Again, I'm not making excuses for Stevenson. I'm not making excuses for Kovalev. I'm just putting the information out there, you know, and relaying it to you guys, man. The whole situation is frustrating to me. Drop your comments below, people. Let me know how you feel about the situation. It's your boy, Hatman. I'm out.